Okay, what I'm about to, sh to show you is how to turn a router into a repeater bridge using DDWRT. I'm using a D-Link DIR615 and my main router is a Superhub. The Superhub's uh, IP address is 192.168.01. The default for the D-Link is um, 192.168.11. Um, well, this isn't too much of an issue, but at this time what I've done now is I've disconnected my Superhub from the PC and I've wired up the D-Link which has already been set up with DDWRT. So we'll go to 192.168.11. Now this is a fresh factory restore so we'll set a username and password. Right, we'll follow the order that um, the the wiki says because I find if you do it in any other order it doesn't seem to save properly. So we'll go to wireless and we'll go to wireless security and we'll match the mode that I'm currently using on the Superhub. So we'll change that to WPA2 personal, change that the algorithm to AES and change the shared key to match what's already on the Superhub. Click save and apply. Now we'll go back to basic settings, change wireless mode to repeater bridge, hit save at this point. change the SSID to match the SSID of your Superhub, which in this case is Shadowstar. Again hit save and hit apply. Now we want to set up the LAN. So we go to setup and we'll already be on the basic setup tab. Now if you see now that we've put it in repeated bridge mode, one connection type is disabled. That is correct. Now we need to change the local IP address to match an address on the Superhub IP range. So we'll change that to naught and we'll change it to 254 as um, on this network uh, DHCP is unlikely to get as high as that address change the gateway to 192.168.01 leave the local DNS as it is if you want a fifth port on the D-Link you can t you can actually assign the one port to the switch which means all five ports on the D-Link will behave as LAN ports save and click apply. Now at this point you'll lose connection to the D-Link because you've just changed its IP. So if you go to Open Network and Sharing Center, click your, your wired connection which in my case is Ethernet, click Properties 
and check let's set up a static IP just uh, we'll use 192.168.0.253 we don't need a gateway or DNS set up because this is just so we can get back to the D-Link for the final configuration steps we'll leave this open because we'll need it shortly so now we'll go to the new address on the D-Link and we'll go to security untick everything except filter multicast click save and disable the SPI firewall and click apply finally go back to setup and go to advanced routing change operating mode to router again click apply now go back to your network settings on the PC go back to IP internet protocol version 4 change it back to obtain address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically click OK and click OK now if we check the details we should find that set up nicely click close And we'll go to a web address. Let's go to the news home. And there you go. My PC is now in effect acting as a wireless client with the um, of of the super hub with the D-Link router of acting as the as the wireless adapter through the network cable and any other devices can connect to the D-Link or the Superhub whichever is uh, closest in range note though that the repeater speeds are halved so if your wireless connection is running at um, 40 megabits a second a uh, wireless connection th through a device with the repeater uh, through the repeater is going to run about 20 megabits a second. Thank you.